wait a second, wait a second. Is this the truth or is this a rumor? Because I, I don't even know anymore, guys. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your boy Pascal back at it again with another pop up video. Be sure to follow me on all my social medias, The Pascal Show, one word. Hit that like button down below, and let's not forget to crush that subscribe button if you're watching on YouTube. And if you're watching on Facebook, make sure you crush that follow button on my Facebook page if this is your first time checking out this channel, right? Yeah. yeah anyway we gotta jump into this story i i don't even know what i don't even know what to say anymore guys because there's so many things that keep coming out revolving around will and jada or jada and her book worthy and this the mess that has been coming out that has ensued from her going out here talking shooting talking just popping off the mouth saying all kinds of crazy stuff dropping bombshell after bombshell i mean it, it, i don't even know anymore more it, it, through all the bs you, you're trying to find the truth but more bs keeps coming out and to me i look at this and i say this has got to be a rumor because it just doesn't the math ain't fully mathing for me like some things make sense and some things don't i'm gonna explain here in a second but we got to take a look at this article right here there's been a couple of them actually because you know even the mirror uk was talking about it as well okay they talked about it too, but we're going into heat world, and this is absolutely crazy. Again, this is just from a source. I have to say that. This is not from coming straight from Will's mouth in an interview. This is not coming from Jada's mouth in an interview either, although I wouldn't be surprised if the next interview she goes on she says something about this i i, I wouldn't be surprised because she has been talking and just talking wireless on the microphone lately okay but or at least whenever whenever it revolves around their relationship but they are now saying sources are saying sources this is all could be rumor are saying will smith is now humiliated by what Jada Pinkett Smith has been doing out here in the streets promoting her book, Worthy. Now, it's, again, crazy stuff. I'm still trying to wrap my mind around this, too, because it doesn't make sense, and I'll explain here in a little bit. Let's get into this article here really, really quick. And I think this is also extremely important right there. They have $400 million between them still on the line. One thing you also got to put in consideration really quick, guys, too. Just a quick reminder. They don't have a prenup. Oh, yeah. They don't have a prenup. That's how serious this can get. Anyway, let's get into this, okay? So we already know about their life partnership and the fact that they've been separated for seven years. That was one of the biggest bombshells that dropped. So from the year 2016, which is seven years ago now, <laughs> yes. y'all have been apart. Yeah. She even talked about the Oscar slap. She talked about the Red Table Talk incident. Even in the Red Table Talk incident, she's kind of, I mean, she definitely throws Will under the bus and, and makes it seem as if it is all his fault for the way that the entanglement red table talk conversation came out when she had full control over that situation. She could have taken a different route, but she decided to keep that stuff out. And in my opinion, and in my thoughts, she did that because she really felt that it was going to bring some serious ratings into the show. In her doggone book, okay, Worthy, she goes into detail trying to make it seem like, oh, it was all Will. Will did this. Will did that. And if he really did do that, she could have said, cut. We're re-recording this. Will, you can, you can get the step in. Okay, there's the dough. I'm going to record it myself. She could have done that, but she didn't. Moving on. One thing they she does say here is, uh, or what they do say in this article, which she has been saying out in these interviews, okay, is that she and Will will not divorce. They never will. She even says in the original, the original Today Show interview that she has with Hoda, okay, she does say, that hey, you know, we will never divorce. He's gonna, he's gonna need me when he gets old to take care of him. Okay. But they say uh they have a whopping three three year age gap between them. So while he's getting old, she's getting old too. You know what I'm saying? So who taking care of who? All right. But despite their united front, 
we're told Will's got a whole lot more to say behind closed doors, which I wouldn't be surprised if he really is, if he really does have things to say. Will was blindsided by Jada's confessions, says an insider close to Hollywood's formerly golden couple who married in 1997. Of course, they have Willow, Jaden, and their st and her stepson, uh, Trey. Will had a son from a previous uh, marriage, okay? Jada did not have his approval to rip the lid off their private life like, like she did, but went ahead uh, regardless. And it's left him feeling more emasculated than ever. Honestly, let's keep it real. He's been emasculated a long time ago, guys. He's been emasculated a long time ago. For, so for me, for him to be emasculated more than ever now, uh, no. Uh, that just doesn't make any sense. Okay? To me, it doesn't make any sense. That's the reason why I'm going. Could this be just, could this just be a rumor? And I'm feeling like it could be. And I'll explain a little bit more here in a second. The actor said it. It's is said to feel particularly humiliated and betrayed by Jada opening up on his Oscar slap, revealing she was shocked Will had referred to her as his wife. That don't make no sense. I got some pushback on that. Don't you worry. Now the insider says it's only the couple's hefty $4 million, $400 million, $400 million fortune with no prenup, by the way. That's stopping Will from rushing into divorce. Yeah, that would that would slow me down as well. We're told he knows he needs to, to be strategic as there, there's 400 million on the line. But he's hurt and angry, and this is the final straw. He wants to divorce and end the charade or charade, however you pronounce it, wherever whatever side of the pond you live on. But real talk, he wants to end. The charade. He also wants to make room in his life for a real relationship. And even though a part of him still loves Jada, that ship has sailed. Listen, guys, listen. I don't believe these rumors at all. This to me is a rumor. Reason why I say this is because <laughs> we all saw the video of her unboxing the book. And the, he's all behind it, you know, yay, Hercules, Hercules, you know, clapping and all that. Kids all around reading excerpts from the book, been like, oh, it's so enticing. It's so interesting to read. Mom, I can't believe I'm opening it up to the part where you, you gave birth to me, Mom. Oh, my gosh, it's so crazy. How convenient. I opened it up right at the spot. You know what I'm saying? He's sitting there smiling. He's putting up po uh, posts on Instagram, sitting here just being like, uh, you know, oh, I got one thing, you know, just clearly showing that he's unbothered by all this. He even showed up to one of her book signings. Jade is the best friend I have ever had on this planet. And I am going to show up for her and support her for the rest of my life. So why would he suddenly now say that he's humiliated, emasculated, and he wanted he want the the divorce? Make that make sense, guys. Also, the other part, he's shocked. He's shocked. He's shocked that that she wrote about the Oscar slap. Man, he said even in a in a comment. He said that he was moved by the book, so proud of her that when he read the book and did not know that she went through those kinds of things, that he was deeply moved by the book. So you're telling me he just missed out that whole part of the book? Like, I'm telling you that that piece, those things do not make any sense. So to me, this whole thing is a rumor. I don't believe this for one minute. Not one second. I get it. Him going up there and being on the mic and, and, and holding it down for her because he feels like that's the right thing to do. And then maybe behind closed doors, he's like, why did you say all those things? I could see a combination of truth and rumor in this a little bit. But I see more rumor than I actually see truth in this situation. Listen, the whole book is here. 
you know for a fact he read this bad boy cover to cover to make sure there wasn't anything in there that he was not going to be uh, that, that, that he was not going to be cool with, right? He had to look through that, I'm sure, to give some sort of approval in the book, just like she probably had to give approval on segments about her in his book, right? So to me, him wanting a divorce, man, like I said, like she said, I don't see a divorce happening anytime soon. This, to me, is one fat, fat-ass rumor and I think we just need to let it be what it is because this rumor just does not equate. The other thing, though, too, I want to point out, the fact that there's $400 million on the line may be the re and there's no prenup, may be the real reason why they ain't signing them papers. Think about it for a second. The reason why they never signed any divorce papers is probably be because, hey, we've built this empire together. And if we divorce, you're going to take all of it or one of us is going to take all of it. And that ain't fair. Let's just write it out. Our lives are good the way it is right now. Why muck it up? I don't know, guys. All I'm saying is the stuff that's being said here in, in, in the book versus what we're hearing in the, in the rumor mill, especially with this stuff, I just don't, I'm just not, I just don't believe it. I need to hear it from the horse's mouth themselves, and then I'll believe it. Jada needs to go into an interview, or Will needs to go into an interview, or I need to see proof of paperwork being signed before I actually believe that this is actually true. But again, that's just my opinion. I could be utterly, completely, 100,010% wrong. You let me know what you think by commenting down in the comments section. Let those comments fire off down there below. All right. Again, I need more proof than just a gossip column. I need it from the source themselves. That's a little bit more. That satiates my appetite. I don't know about you guys. But anyway, guys. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Hit that like button down below. Don't forget to crush that subscribe button. Definitely hit that follow button if you're watching on Facebook. That'll be greatly appreciated. And yeah, I agree. He has been emasculated, but he's been emasculated for so long. Why now? Divorce rumors should have been happening since, th since the 3 o'clock and I'm faded entanglement conversation. Damn. Anyway, guys, it's time to get going. Be good to yourselves. Be good to one another. And I'll see you guys in the next video. This is the Pascal Show. Bye. P-A-S-C-A-L. You are now rocking with that dude, Pascal. We be going wild.